sleepwalk. Wiggling, 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 wiggling. What's happened now? Yeah, we changed our minds. <laughs> I changed my mind. We were supposed to go up north, back uh, to a city called Karls Krona. And, back uh, to the continent? Back to the continent. But like um, tomorrow, the wind forecast is just getting stronger and stronger. And today, the wind is supposed to be light. And uh, kind of towards where we want to go. I mean, uh, not towards, but like, uh, gonna be close hold most of the way. Show me the route. Yeah, there we go. So right now we're a bit out of route, but the wind should change to the southwest. And then when it changes southwest, we'll go the other way around and then we'll probably make it to this island here called uh, Christianso. It's like Christianso. It's like my name, Christian. Uh, beautiful name. <laughs> it might be an eight hour sail, but it's 10 in the morning. We'll get there by six. So it's plenty of time. So sometimes we change our minds. I think it's for the better. We hope so. like a third island attached to it as well. Can we make it between those two or we go around the third island as well? Just a moment, please. It's a crazy thing, it's in the plane. You can go between Grasshormen and... Uh, well, the main island is three, small, three islands in the main one and you can go between Grasshormen and the, the group of main islands. Right, okay, okay, that's what I was thinking. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much for your help, Manzanita. I'll probably see you around there, yeah? Uh, what is your estimated time of arrival, please? We'll probably make it in about 45 to 50 minutes. We take another one and a half hour. So we we'll take 30 with us and... Uh... See you later. Over. Okay, over and out. Thank you. So, just arriving in Christian, sir. Quite a picturesque place. And uh, as usual, between a lot of stones. It's quite tight in here. How's it going? Check this out, so many birds. We had to motor the last uh, three hours or, or so, four hours. Some people in. And, uh, it seems to be like perfect uh, holiday island here. I mean, very chilled, you can see those little houses over there, those cottages, I believe they're to be rented out and people just are having breakfast over there in a really nice morning and beautiful little island, Christian so that's what it's supposed to be called. Oh man, this guy's gonna hit us so close. He's good, he's good, he's good. Find DC more verses, make a wish for a purpose. can just pay as much as you want pretty much, much eh? all the houses around here are made, are made out of, of uh, stone the same as the, the wall the big, they have those little boxes here that, that you can take like uh, the seeds from the island and then you can pay something 
I don't know, I think it's a uh, 3 euro for each. And then you can put the money here. And the honesty of the people as well, like there's no there's no stealing probably around here. No. And considering you could walk around the whole island in just a few hours, we soon left towards Borhum, a huge island when compared to Kristiansu, very close by, that also belonged to Denmark. There's a, there's a lot of algae in the water right now. Apparently, yeah, apparently uh, there's a big problem with the Baltic Sea now. It's one of the most polluted seas in the world from what we heard. I mean, I'm not sure if that's true. You guys can maybe help me out with that. What we hear is that it takes about 30 years for the water inside here to get recycled because the opening to the Atlantic is very, very, very small. Together with all the sewage and everything that's been thrown in the Baltic, it's becoming a very bad situation. Apparently, Denmark also has like a big role in it where pig farmers mainly have like a, have been throwing a lot of dump in the sea. It's becoming critical now because the oxygen levels are dropping and uh, algae formation is getting higher and higher, you know? I mean, most of the places we've been have a lot of algae a lot of growth in the water. I don't know how it's supposed to be, but uh, it just doesn't look right, really. It's a shame. It's such a beautiful place. It gets degraded by us, you know. There's a legend around here that says that um, how, how do you call it? The legend around here, Borhom, after God created the whole Scandinavia, <laughs> he had left only a few things on, the, on his hands. He had a little bit of stone, plants, and sand, and beach, and then he put it all here in this island. And then he created Borhom. So that's the, the legend around here. So Bornholm is pretty much a creation out of leftovers, a uh, half of the panela. The only sand beach they have here in Scandinavia is here. You saw a sandy beach in Christian, so <laughs> it was very <laughs> small. Was, yeah, a little one. <laughs> There's a fort in ruins around here. The story is, uh, I think it was in the 15th or 16th century. The story is about uh, the Danish people, the Danish king, some people from the church. The king apparently, there's four islands around here. He gave three of the islands to the church, to that you know, priest. Or, mm -hmm. And one of the, one of them, he built a fort, the king, because it's a good uh, spot to have a, a fort. And it's in the middle of the mountain. And then this guy from the church, he took, and then he took the four islands to himself. Yeah. He's a and greedy then, bastard. Yeah. <laughs> And then after that, he built it another fort, which is one that we're going uh, tomorrow. And the Danish guy, the Danish king, no, please. I think I think the Danish king, the Danish king made a, a deal. Wait, se tava com um cara que era da Suécia, que era do da da igreja, aí ele conseguiu de volta os quatro ilhas. The king fought over the four uh, islands oh. back to himself. Did he win it? Yeah, he won. He won it. He won it. After that, there was like. Main Portuguese and Portuguese and Portuguese. What is 
Peace out.